Meg and welcome back to another studio vlog. If you've never been here before, I run my own small business called Meg Garrett Art. Um, so today is Tuesday. I didn't film at all yesterday because I had the day just doing uni work and I went for a walk. But today is a little bit different, so I need to pack some orders. I did a clothing sale on my Instagram at the weekend, so I've got them orders to pack as well. And then I also do need to do some uni work. So I'm going to get on with packing orders this morning, and I will take you with me. Morning. it is Wednesday it's 10 o'clock and I have just had the most exciting news possibly of my entire life um I cannot share anything with you guys just yet but yeah I am so so excited um my growth as a person and an artist in the past year has just been so incredible and I'm so proud of myself and so grateful for everybody that has supported me and helped me get where I am um, so yeah, it's a busy day because that's more work that I need to do um, and I also have uni deadlines this week, I think I have two deadlines. Um, so yeah, it's just getting on with that today. Uh, if there's anything interesting that I do, I'm sure I'll film it. But yeah, this studio vlog seems like a bit of a quiet one for you guys anyway because it's just me doing uni work and computer work so it's not stuff that i really think that you would be interested in uh so yeah i will see you later so i've just got a parcel which is the paper i use to print my prints on um i got some new sizes this time so normally i go for a6 a5 and a4 but i've been doing a lot of square prints recently so i've got a square paper to try out
sure how I feel about this paper um so this is the 8x8 which is in the same box as the A4 and basically they've cut it into the square and then like done that which is what I was doing anyway I was already printing on A4 to this size and then just cutting it out so I feel like I could have done that myself and it might have been cheaper and then I don't like this being to waste um I guess these could be freebies though um like little bookmarks I could try that I think I will definitely have to do something with them um I don't want to waste that much paper so yeah um but you know at least it is easy to sort good morning um i don't think i filmed in about a week i've probably had the busiest week of my life <laughs> maybe that's an exaggeration but i had like three uni deadlines and some special projects behind the scenes so yeah um i haven't filmed at all because it was mostly just admin stuff and things i couldn't show you so there's been nothing interesting happening but yeah now i have kind of finished uni for easter break so i've got like four weeks to just focus on my business and create and get ready for a big shop update so I'm going to start filming again from today. It's Friday and yeah, hopefully there will be a new studio vlog. Hello, so it's Saturday and um, we went for a walk and now I'm back in the studio. Um, so today I'm going to look into notebooks because I ordered samples and these were the samples that came and they're just not thick enough. I want if people are spending money on notebooks with me i want them to include a few more pages um so i have emailed and just asked that question but i've also been watching meg at fizz and flourish and she makes her own and that might be an option um the only thing that puts me off is time um i'm already super busy because of uni as well and i don't want to add too much on my plate if if things are already designed and ready to go that might make it a lot easier but yeah i've just got some plain printer paper and i'm quickly going to try and make my own notebook see what i think and i'll get back to you not hating it um it's uneven on the side so what people do is trim it so i'm gonna see if my guillotine manages that <laughs> so i've just made my own notebook and although it's quite quick i do think i would have to invest in quite a few things um so i would have to invest in a laminator which i don't currently have i would have to invest in a heavy duty guillotine because this one just didn't work at all um so yeah, I feel like for 
for my situation right now with being at uni and not having much time on my hands it is better to outsource um i will quickly show you so this is how it turned out and i'm just going to use this one for myself although yeah i'm really happy with it I would definitely uh, choose thick paper because this is just like print paper. Um, I think the ones in the samples I was sent is thicker, quite a bit thicker, um, which is good. Um, I think I am going to outsource them, although I'm going to get some specifics from my supplier, ask them a few questions just to make sure I'm fully happy with everything. And yeah. Hello, it is Sunday and I'm finally getting around to painting my Staffordshire dog. So this is the one that I'm going to be painting today. Um, it's much, much bigger than the ones I painted in the past. I think the ones I painted previously were only 10 centimetres. So yeah, this might be a bit of a challenge. I have almost like planned on my iPad how I want it to look. So this is the design and it's gonna have flowers on the body and then checkerboard ears and tail. Um, it's a very like green and pink, which I'm really into right now. So yeah, the first thing I'm going to do is wipe it down, um, make sure it's clean and then get to painting. I'm just looking through my color charts to kind of decide on the colors. just about finished so this is the doge um he's all done and basically what i need to do now is coat him with a clear varnish um i have to be really careful at this stage because the paint will just scratch off so easily um so yeah i think i'm going to go outside now and varnish him really quickly and then he can dry overnight
Hello, so I'm just designing at the moment and I'm going to be doing washi tape. So I've been designing some washi tape. I will quickly show you what I've got. What I've got so far is a few designs. So this top one um, is going to have like a gingham background with all like my little doodles on. That's a similar design but with a zebra print background. This is the one that I'm most excited for. So I'm going to do like bodies all along it with like a checked background and like sparkles. Um, this is a weather themed one, which is really cute. And then I'll just come up with a little fruit designed one. Um, so yeah, I want to try and experiment with these more and get some designs properly together. And then I can decide which I like. But yeah, um... I'm really excited for these designs and I'm excited for this shop update but also at the same time like it's also a bit scary because I am obviously a body positive artist and I want I still want to carry on doing that but I don't want all my products to be like based around body positivity because I love doodling like little stars and strawberries and like yeah just really cute stuff so I don't want to always have to focus on drawing nude bodies but it really worries me about what my audience will react to that kind of drawing um so yeah i think i will put together as many designs as i can for the washi tape and then do a poll on instagram and see what everyone thinks so yeah i have next week basically off uni i've got a few lectures but mainly off so i'll probably focus on doing that tomorrow but for now it is sunday it's half past five and i'm probably gonna go doodle in the lounge Good morning, it is Monday morning, um, I'm not sure what you've already seen of the studio vlog because it's been so bitty and here and there so I apologise for that but I am back and it's Monday, what time is it? It's 11 o'clock and I just wanted to show you the Staffordshire dog that I painted yesterday. So this is her and I am so happy, so that's the little face. As you go down, we have all these flowers on the body and some have sad faces and some have happy faces. And there you go. Oh, and then this one's my favourite, the little sad flower that's like... But yeah, um, it has like checkerboard ears and a tail and really beautiful gold paws. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with this one. I think... I will always love the first Staffordshire dogs that I painted but this one was so fun especially at such a bigger scale so to compare this was the first Staffordshire dog I did so they're tiny um, and I'm really really happy and I was planning to sell this but I feel like I want to keep it around for a little bit at least just so that I can have it on display because I love them. Um, so yeah, today I have a to-do list of quite a few things. So I've been looking into washi tape and I'm going to outsource. Um, so I've been doing some designing, which I think I showed you yesterday. And I'm going to try and complete them designs today. I also want to look into customs because they are getting shipped from abroad. I am subject to customs when they reach the UK and I don't want that to be a massive surprise of cost. Um, so I'm gonna look into that today. I'm also going to photograph the Staffordshire dog and and possibly do some editing of my Shopify store. So yeah, it's um, a day where I can just do what I want as I go today, but I'll take you with me. Hello, so I've just looked into customs and I'm happy with the charges. So I'm going to get designing and the only thing I hate about designing products, because normally it's my favourite thing to do, is that you have to design in CMYK. So I've got it set up here in CMYK, I don't even know if you can see. So this is CMYK and these are the lovely colours that I normally use. So if I click on this pink, it gives me this colour so yeah it just the colours aren't as bright neon they're just overall not as pretty 
Um, so yeah, I'm kind of just getting used to working with CMYK because as you can see, my colour palettes are very, very bright and bold. And yeah, the colour palette of CMYK isn't. So let's see what I can create. So I sketched out the designs with bums and boobs on and I don't know if you can see um, but that's just like the quick sketch and I'm going to start designing that one because I think that one might be the hardest one. Uh, the other one I can design those separate elements and like photoshop them together whereas this one is very like specifically linked as one. So yeah I think I'm going to start designing that now. I'm having a tough time getting back into filming. I can't remember what I showed you yesterday, um, but I'm still working on the washi tape. I don't know why I thought it would only take a day, but we're now on day two and I'm nowhere near done. Um, so I'll show you the designs I've got so far and talk you through my next steps. So these are the designs. It's quite hard to show you because it's so small, um, but I'm gonna zoom in as much as I can. I'll zoom the camera in and try and show you so this is the first washi tape it's more of like a cutesy fun vibe so you've got flower heart sunshine um and you've got lots of really cute elements on a gingham background so yeah i'm super happy with that one so far that's it from like a distance um really cute it's it's the kind of style i'm wanting to go into more um and this one has um bodies all across it so I have to zoom in really far for you to see it on camera. But yeah, um, just lots of different bodies all across the tape. Uh, in between all the gaps, I'm hoping to add little sparkles. But yeah, I don't... F I've printed it out and the scale is fine. Like, you can definitely see the bodies. The, what I don't like is the outlines. Obviously, they are skin coloured and it doesn't show up well enough. So, I'm going to experiment outlining with like a dark dark purple and then filling in the colors to see what that's like um i think it will just work better
Good morning, so it's Wednesday. I've got a really busy day today, um, but I'm just designing washi tape at the moment. So I was only meant to have three designs, but I've got six designs in mind. So what I'm going to do is get them all ready um, and then put a poll on Instagram and everybody can vote for their favorite. That way I can kind of see what my audience wants from me and I've also got them designs for the future if I decide to use them so yeah um I'm just gonna get on with that hello so it is just about lunch time and I've just finished the design so there are seven designs and I ideally only want to print three or four um so yeah I'm going to test print them on sticker paper cut them out and take some photographs and then hopefully I will post that on social media tonight and get everybody's responses and see what everyone prefers. So let me just show you the washi tape. So these are the washi tape designs. So you've got the pants one up here, which is this one. Um, you've got the beautiful bodies one. This is an affirmations one I just designed. Beautiful, kind, powerful, strong. And it just repeats over and over. This is the dreamland one that I designed. A space and weather themed one, which is this one. The fruit design, which I love. And the happy friends design. So I'm gonna get to printing these off and displaying them in my notebook. the washi tape designs i am so happy with how they've turned out um i think it's gonna be really hard to narrow it down but i definitely need to i can't jump into a product and get so many designs straight away but yeah i'm really happy um so i'm going to photograph some pictures really quickly post them and see what people like so it's really sunny and these are the washi tapes in the sun I am obsessed. Good morning. It is Thursday. It's nearly nine o'clock and I've just got into the studio. Um, so I had some really, really lovely reactions to the washi tape last night. Um, and there's been hundreds of comments. So I can't really tell which is favourite. So I'm going to quickly go through all the comments and make a little chart and see what, what everyone's favourite is. <laughs> Um, so yeah that is this morning and I also need to film some TikToks because I've been slacking on there at the moment um, so yeah I'm going to do that this morning hello I am just prepping the notebooks ready to send to get printed and I realised I only have three designs and I was planning on printing four so basically I am going to get printed a design that isn't like a body positive nude design um i have spoke about this a little bit but i want to do both body positive art and other types of art that makes me happy and things like that um so i think i'm gonna do like some flower art and i have this as the notebook cover i don't know if you can see that and it says it will be okay 
um i just think it's a little bit different to my usual style and it gives people an option so some people don't feel comfortable having nude bodies on stationery especially you know if they're at work so i think it will give another option and another kind of path i can go down so yeah i'm gonna get designing that design this is the front cover um so it doesn't i decided not to have any writing on the front because obviously that kind of limits who will want it if it says like notebook or sketches so yeah that is the front and then this spine has just the grid pattern on and then you go over to the back and it says be kind to yourself and yeah this is i am absolutely obsessed with this it is so cute hi it's monday and i'm just gonna end the studio vlog here i've kind of just got a week of uni stuff and getting things wrapped up ready for easter so i thought this was the perfect time to kind of say goodbye and thank you so much for watching my vlog it honestly means the world to me and i hope i'll see you next week bye <laughs>